Hello, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Hey, Donnie. Hey, I was raised on crowns, man. We used to eat them and chase them with paste. It was like oh. two of the major food groups got me through both years of kindergarten. I'll say it like this. She's talking about that pet kangaroo. I think it'd be awesome to have a, a pet kangaroo. You like, would. I swear to God. Well, I didn't even know it was legal or allowed to have a kangaroo without owning like a zoo permit. But I guess in Detroit, a dude with a pet kangaroo is the least of their worries. Uh -oh. I swear Good point. to God. I've seen Grand Torino's. I had a pet, uh, a pet boa constrictor one time uh -huh. until it tried choking out my Uncle Junebug. He's napping in the Lazy Boy after Thanksgiving. It's like circus 1985. Uh -huh. right. It was the hardest thing ever. We had to set little Ike Turner free back in his natural <laughs> habitat. Wait a minute. Oh. Your snake was named Ike Turner? Yes, yeah. I did. I had an articulated python before that one. Articulated <laughs> python, yes. Bug constrictors are like sharks. Once they taste blood, you ain't going to reverse them. Even if they're farm raised, once they attack, and plus the meat's going to be gamey after that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Hey, you, you think if you had a pet kangaroo, you never have to worry about dragging a cooler to your parties or the race anymore. There you wow. go. Yep, just pour a 10-pound bag of polar ice into its pouch, toss in a 12-pack of daddy lights in its pooch, and you're on your way with <laughs> nonstop service to pound town. <laughs> you, really, you think the chicks are going to dig a kangaroo? Yeah, you know a kangaroo wingman would be all you need, Tom. So, take a kangaroo to any tailgate party, especially if you had it trained, like we did with Ike Turner before he went rogue. Uh -huh. just, just offer ladies a beer or be like, uh, you know, hey, Dennis, hop on over here. Get these ladies a beer. I don't know what you're naming. Best part of having a kangaroo <laughs> with you, if the fans from the other team tried to start something, you got kango there to drop kick him right in their gizzard. You know, knock them to the other side of the parking lot, you know, because they're trained. They're natural boxers, just like a Sugar Ray Lennox. The way he <laughs> Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard, Leonard. Okay. yes. That's their natural defense. Here's another thing. If you get too drunk, you can just hop on his back and he'll hop you home. Oh, good silly. Point. That's a good idea, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it don't work with ramp putty when you're drunk. Matter no. of fact, the kangaroo probably have less hair on its back and way fewer skin tags than she did. Oh. So, oh. Crap. Oh. I'm sorry. I got to go. Oh. Thanks, Donnie.